This is our nation's capital. That's where our representatives work each day to prove that all men are created equal. This is also our nation's capital. Yeah, those fellas in that big white building on the hill got a ways to go in the equalizing department. I used to live on this street. Seven years ago, I supported a wife, two kids, and three bookies. Then one day, my luck ran out, and like any right-thinking horse player, I ran with it. That's my wife, Olivia. She's still as pretty as the day I took off. Never found a woman that could equal her, and God knows I tried. That's Angie and Jordan, my two kids. I figure I can win them back, because seven years ago, they were too young to know what a heel I was. That's my mother-in-law, Lizelle. Lizelle is French for killer. The day she moved in with us, the rats moved next door. I'll say one thing for that woman, she never gives up. Even though I showed up after seven years and moved right upstairs, she still thinks she can get rid of me. But don't count on it, cause baby, I am back. 14, 24, 35, 42, four. <laughs> 14, 24, 35, 42. <laughs> 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 Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Charles, don't you know there are people trying to concentrate in here? Sorry, Grandma, but I only got two more days to shape up. And 10 seconds to ship out. <laughs> well, the boxing tournament is this Sunday. I'm gonna be the new Rocky. And if you don't pick up your room, you're gonna be the new Punchy. <laughs> but I can't pick up anything with these on. <laughs> That's your problem. Hit it. Ta-da! <laughs> Tell me who I am. Boys, take off my diamond pin. Child, that pin is a priceless family heirloom. It originally belonged to the second wife of my third husband. <laughs> and I personally removed it before they closed the lid. I'm just playing with it. Angie, it isn't a toy. Put it back in Grandma's room. First, guess who I am. You are Dawn, the torn and tormented housewife who is on the edge of tomorrow. <laughs> Grandma, you guess. That's not fair. <laughs> Mama, when I'm at work, I do not want my children wasting their time watching those soap operas. Well, neither do I, but they refuse to look at the gong show. <laughs> on the mailbox, and we didn't want to disturb the wrong one. Well, we are the wrong one. The one to disturb is in 2A. <laughs> are you uh, friends of Ray's? Yeah, we thought it'd be kind of nice to surprise it. He is what you might call a class reunion. 2A upstairs. Hey, don't rush us, Mama. Hey, you know, you're a fine-looking woman. <laughs> Ain't she fine, Rosie? Real fine, she. <laughs> Say, little mama, after we reunion with Ray Ellis, how'd you like it if uh, we came back? Huh? She'd hate it. Upstairs. <laughs> Two eight. Bye. Boy, it's seven years later. Why does he still hang out with the Gorilla Brigade? Because gorillas of a feather flock together. <laughs> Olivia? <laughs> you Ray Ellis? Wait a minute, what do you want? He's Rosie and 
Tom Shake. We're in the renovating business, and there's something that we're interested in uh, remodeling. What? Your face. <laughs> Quite a sense of humor. A little twisted, but, uh... Say, wait a minute, who are you guys? Oh, just some brothers. That's funny, Mother never mentioned you in any of her letters. <laughs> we're here on behalf of our real brother, Jaws Claiborne. Jaws Claiborne, the loan shark? Right. Seven years ago, you borrowed $200 from Jaws. Since he's sick, we come to collect. Hey, wait a minute. I happen to know that Josh Claiborne died over a year ago. Gives you some idea how sick he is. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand around here and listen to this. Well, I could stay a minute or two. <laughs> Dick, did you owe the brother the bread? Yeah, but Did I... you ever pay him? No, because he... Well, since we inherited his estate... And since seven years ago, you borrowed $200. Say, wait a minute. Don't sweat it. Is it just $200? I can cover that. Good. And now all that's left is the interest. How much interest? The usual 10%. $20? A week. For seven <laughs> years. That's seven times 52 times 20. Now, I'm not too good at geometry, but that comes to exactly $7,280. $7,280? Negro, are you crazy? <laughs> And don't forget the original 200. Say, man, there's no way that I can come up with that kind of money. Unless you give me a suitcase to put it in. <laughs> we'll take care of the pickup. You just take care of the put up. Yeah, and in the meantime, uh, how about showing us a little good faith and putting up some collateral? <laughs> like what? Your liver. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, brothers. I need some more time. How does eternity grab you? Hey, 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 don't rattle the man. <laughs> don't rattle me. Hey, brother, you want time? Huh? Yeah, you got time. Look here, you take all the time you need. We'll be back before the 6 o'clock news. And if you don't have the bread, your accident will be on it. <laughs> you guys don't scare me none. me. I'm fast. Foxy is barbaric. I'll get it. Oh! <laughs> Grandma, you killed her! Mama, Mama, you all right? Why didn't I pick on somebody my own size? Mama, Mama, speak to me. Not tonight, Willard. I got a headache. <laughs> Grandma, please. I didn't know my own strength. That's what you get for encouraging violence. And you go get me some ice. Put some whiskey on it. <laughs> Mama, how many fingers do you see? All of them. What am I doing now? <laughs> Making a fool of yourself. <laughs> Will somebody answer that door? I'm going, I'm going. I should have known it was you. Olivia, I gotta talk to you alone. Unlike you, I have no secrets from my family. Anything you have to say to me, you can say it in front of everybody. I want you to loan me $7,280. Everybody out. <laughs> Why? I heard all the swear words before. <laughs> Are you crazy? Olivia, I'm desperate. Well, then you might as well ask for $7 because I don't have that either. And even if I did have it, give me one good reason why I should loan it to you. Because two guys are out to kill me. She said a good reason. <laughs> Mama, please. Well, just pretend I'm not here. Nobody can pretend that good. <laughs> Mama, please leave. All right. But I'm gonna keep my door and my ears open. Just as long as you keep your lips shut. I'm in big trouble, Olivia. Mm. What is it this time? A 20 to 1 can't miss long shot that got boxed on the inside rail? You're not even close. I need you to give me a short term loan. <laughs> How about a long term note? Come on, Olivia. I got no place else to turn. Well, you can't turn to me. I don't even know anybody with $7,000. Well, baby, can't you get it from the bank? What about you? I just got back to town. I don't have any credit. What about your job? Olivia, they don't give $7,000 advances at the paramutual window. Well, I just ran out of suggestions. Olivia, 
This is a matter of life and death. Ray, with you, everything was always a matter of life or death. And I always fell for it. Well, this time, I'm not going for it. Maybe I'm not telling you this right. Now, you remember Joss Claiborne? Who? He used to keep the snakes at the park. He went out with your mother. Oh. <laughs> Everybody went out with my mother. Well, keeping snakes for George was just part-time. See, he's a loan shark, and he sent out two of his gorillas to kill me. Snakes, sharks, gorillas. Why don't you get the money from the zoo? <laughs> Olivia, this is not a joke. Now, do I look like I'm lying? No, no. But the more innocent you look, the guiltier you are. That hasn't changed either in seven years. Would you just try to forget about the good old days? I will not. While your bookie was dining on filet mignon, our children were eating meatloaf without the meat. <laughs> OK, so I wasn't a perfect father. But we managed. We managed? No, no, no. I managed. But only after I stopped believing all those stories about muggings and sick friends and lost paychecks. Well, I wasn't all that bad. Who, who bought your mother her new teeth? <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident and you know it. How do you think I feel when she snaps at me with my own teeth? <laughs> Ray, you're not going to win me over with charm. Olivia, I'm not lying. Ray, I'm not buying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a minute. <laughs> Angie, I was just testing a new tape. Oh. Guess who I am? Look, honey, you can't stay. I'm expecting company. I'll give you a hint. Oh. I am Dawn, the torn and tormented housewife who's on the edge of tomorrow. I have to choose between my husband and... Angie, I... where did you get that pin? Oh, it's Grandma's. She took it off her third husband's second wife before they screwed on her lid. <laughs> What lid? Never mind. <laughs> Angie, uh, I wouldn't suggest that you wear that pin around the building because it looks expensive. Money is no object to don. <laughs> How expensive? Not expensive enough. Look, honey, you can't stay. I'm expecting a surprise visit from two old friends. If you know they're coming, what's the surprise? <laughs> Rosie and now listen, we don't want those two gorillas to know we're in here. Now you go behind the chair and I'll, okay? I think they know. <laughs> well, look who he's got for protection. Look, Angie, you go on downstairs and wait for me. I'll be down in a minute. No. Do as I say. No, Daddy. I'm not leaving you. These kids are all the same. Mine don't listen to me either. <laughs> Look, honey, you go downstairs and I'll be down in a minute, I promise. Yeah, you can catch him at the bottom step. <laughs> you leave my daddy alone! Come on, honey, go downstairs. It's gonna be all right. They're just kidding. I'll be down in a minute. Do you or do you not have the bread? The money? You mean you guys were serious? Now look, buddy, it's nothing personal. But it's kind of bad for him if you have a welcher walking the streets. Alive. <laughs> uh, I, I need some more time. Hey, Shake, he's doing it to us again. Now hold it. Now how much time? What time does the bank open in the morning? Nine. I'll have it by 10, I swear. All right. But you got till 10. But that's it. And at 11, we got a plane to catch. 
Where from? The top of the Empire State Building? <laughs> no, Dulles International. Don't this guy know nothing? <laughs> Where'd you learn to sneak up on people like that? My daddy owes you money, doesn't he? Smart kid. A lot smarter than old man. Who ever heard of climbing the Empire State Building to catch a plane? <laughs> Maybe I could help you get the money. Oh, uh, thanks, kid. We don't need your help. Your daddy's gonna give it to us at 10 tomorrow morning. No, he won't. He doesn't have any money. Grandmother said that's why he skipped out in the first place. My dad is very poor. You know, she could be right. Look at the way he dresses the kid. <laughs> so, uh, you want to talk a deal? <laughs> with his fist last night. Fist? <gasps> oh, Lord. He was telling the truth. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. Mama, what are you doing? I'm calling the police. Ask the Kojak. He knows everything. <laughs> Hello? I'd like to report a missing person. He's about 5 feet 11, 180 pounds, um, curly hair, a mustache, and... And he's about to walk with a limp. Daddy! How dare you be okay? Oh, Daddy, I was so scared when I couldn't find you this morning. Well, I had to go buy your mom some flowers, honey. What for? Ah, uh, don't pretend with me. I know what you did. You saved my life. That note said everything. What note? Oh, the one that said debt pays. That's right. When I saw that note... Wait a minute. How did you know the note said debt pays? <laughs> Oh, George, Rob, 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 my diamond pen is gone. Crime in the streets has moved indoors. I don't want to leave this room. Well, don't look at me. I was trying to brush my teeth. <laughs> There's the crook right there. So that's where you got the money. You mean to tell me you didn't pay those guys off? <laughs> right act innocent but he is innocent angie you don't know your father the way you think if it came down to that pin or his skin he would i would have grabbed it but i needed 10 times what that trinket was worth that's right insult the family jewels you mangy flea infested night crawling crook <laughs> Angie, how do you know? Because I'm the one who gave the pin to those two men. What? You gave my pin away? And they took it? <laughs> I thought they needed seven grand. You never heard of settling for ten cents on the dollar? <laughs> Angie, where did you learn about high finance? From Mr. Rosie and Mr. Shake. They said I made them an offer they couldn't refuse. The hell they couldn't. <laughs> Are those baboons? I knew they couldn't be trusted. That pen wasn't in the deal. Deal? What deal? Uh, deal? <laughs> Who said deal? Uh, Jordan, uh, get the cards. <laughs> Don't get cute. What did you do? I'll tell you what she did. She hired those thugs to kill me. They were not thugs. They were actors. I'm a patron of the arts. <laughs> you mean they were just supposed to scare Daddy to death? Uh, not to death. 
just to Mexico. <laughs> Mama, this is the worst thing you have ever done. No, it isn't. How about the time she cut Ray's pitch out of the wedding album? <laughs> oh, that old pin meant so much to me. My life will never be the same without it. Oh, Mama, cut out the self-pity. You have done a horrendous thing. But I'm the one who did it. It's my fault. We're done with your crime. We're into the big time now. <laughs> Mama, where are you going? I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> Naps are very important when you get old. <laughs> okay, Mama, you can cut the old lady bit. It isn't gonna work. <laughs> Ray, as much as I hate to admit it, I think we all owe you an apology. Well, I, I may accept your apology. Thank you. I'll let you know tonight. Upstairs in my room. <coughs> you bring the wine, I'll supply the candle. Ray, stop turning yourself on. <laughs> Just accept, I'm sorry. It's more than you deserve. <laughs> Not really, Mama. Now it's your turn. For what? To apologize to Ray. Watch your mouth, girl. I'm still your mother. <laughs> uh, come on, Lizelle. What's a little apology between friends? <coughs> Come on, Grandma. You can do it. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> oh, so the actors have come back for their applause. You knew about us? I knew about you all the time. You didn't fool me one minute. <laughs> the diamond thieves. Olivia, call the police. One moment, madam. We are not thieves. We are merely actors. And these are not diamonds. <laughs> you mean my diamonds are zircons? Well, your zircons are glass. <laughs> and the glass is plastic. <laughs> Cheap plastic. <laughs> so where's our money? Your money. Step outside. <laughs> Mama, come back here. You still haven't apologized to Ray. All right. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oh, come on, Lizelle. Stop grinding my teeth. <laughs> I apologize. What? <laughs> I apologize. That's better. Turkey. <laughs> now, how about a little kiss? <laughs> Baby, if you need me, you just call. I'll be right here down the hall. Slowly climbing up the wall. Baby, I'm back. Catch the exciting drama of Generations. So hot, it's his. Maybe I'm back. Tonight, the PM Eastern, only on BET. Check out the crazy comedy of Red Fox as the hilarious Fred Sanford on Sanford. Coming up next on BET.